Welcome to my dream office. Hi, I'm Maria and welcome to Living Planet Friendly where I document my imperfect low waste lifestyle. I've been a full-time content creator for about three months and I really struggled at first with like a home work separation and feeling like I needed to be working all the time if I was home while also trying to heal and break free from the hustle culture corporate grind. It was a big life adjustment and I feel like I'm still adjusting to my new career. I used to do my work at our dining room table, on the couch, or at a spare desk in my husband's office. This room on our second floor had our futon, my husband's 3D printer, and I temporarily had my desk in there. It was just really Really cramped it didn't bring me joy the color on the walls was puke green it was just too dark and not a pleasant space to be in so over the last two weeks my husband and I have been transforming the second floor of our house from my new office to his old office to our hallway it looks so different my husband's 3d printer is now in the hallway and he's got a great little setup for it the futon that was in here was moved elsewhere so I was left with a blank canvas we bought this paint color two years ago and it was the last room left in our house to paint. This is honestly the most perfect color. I already feel better coming in and getting ready to do some work. The first step to furnishing this office was a desk. Now I already had the standing desk. It was expensive so I didn't want to replace it just to fit the new theme. So instead of buying a brand new desk I bought a roll of white contact paper and covered the brown top with it. It was a really easy project and I'm really happy with the results of it. It feels like it actually fits in the room really well now. All of the things on my desk I already had these gray desk organizers my parents bought me when I got my first job, this mouse pad I've had for a long time, and my mom makes these adorable mug rugs for holiday themes. I ended up putting my desk in the middle of the office because it feels more like an office. I did buy a new power cord extension thing. The one I had was absolutely massive and unneeded, so I bought a smaller one that also has a USB, and the cord is actually the right size. The next thing that was moved into my office were my house plants. I'm actually just using the stand that used to hold my click and grow. I usually take the click and grow out during the summer because I have a bunch of stuff growing outside. It's white and it matched the room perfectly. And I was just sitting in our basement so much easier than buying something new. I do have some more house plants that are gonna be on these shelves, but right now they're in quarantine. And then my snake plant is in the corner on this black stand that I already had. Eventually I'm gonna spray paint it white, but it's fine for now. We also moved this printer from Quinn's office into to my office. I use it more frequently than he does and then he had the ability to use the extra spare desk in his office completely. He turned it into like a console station. So I've got this on this compact desk here. I've got all my paper and card stock and Avery stock underneath it on the little shelf and then the gray bin has business paperwork and of course my second life paper shredder. I needed some sort of storage for this wall and we didn't have anything in the basement that I could use. So I went onto my buy nothing group and asked if anybody had a cube organizer that they were getting rid of. And I was so lucky because within an hour someone offered two. So I sanded down the bigger one and then painted it white to match the inside of the office. It didn't paint well. Honestly, most times particle board doesn't, but it's okay because I purchased these new cloth bins at Target and they cover most of the imperfections. And the reason that I bought new cube bins is that most of the time they are made with cardboard so they can't really be washed. And I've never actually found any of them secondhand. But this whole storage unit works perfect. It holds all of the things that I need for my shop. I've got all my seeds and inventory, sourdough, loofahs and loofah soaps. And then on the right, these bins are all of like my packing materials. I'm a little bit of a packing materials hoarder, so if I get a package and it has crinkle paper, I will save it. Or if it has cornstarch packing peanuts. This is brown paper. These are those like air bubbles, bubble wrap, and then this is like packing tape and stuff. I will reuse everything. So now it's easy to grab and go when I'm packing an order. The other cube organizer I did not paint because it ended up in my closet that's in here. We have this massive walk-in closet that's inside my office. So I've taken over this corner for the cube organizer. This is just where I keep any sort of packing boxes and stuff. And we've got a bunch of reused shipping envelopes. Same thing, if I can reuse it, I will. And at least now it's very organized. As for decor,
decor. We have this cat hammock on our first floor. We had it, but we never left it in the window overnight, so we didn't put it up a lot. So I moved it up here. Waffles gets a view of the backyard and loves to nap and sunbathe here in the afternoon. I did buy a new curtain rod for in here. The one we had was very broken, but I bought it as a second life curtain rod. There was a little damage to the twisty part, but I just put it facing toward the wall and it's fine. And then the curtain ended up covering it anyways. And then I bought new curtains to match. They're just shears, but they are so pretty. I hung up some pieces of decor that I already had. Quinn bought me this adorable light switch plate. I definitely still need something for this wall here. I'm thinking something with at Living Planet Friendly on it. But to be honest, I'm not sure yet. So if you have any ideas, let me know. The other really exciting piece of decor I did a short video on, but it's my sticker board. I put adhesive magnet sheets on the backs of stickers and then I stuck them onto a dry erase board that's also magnetic. I have sticker commitment issues, so all of these were just sitting in a box and this is a really good way to display them. And if I want to decide to stick one somewhere else later on, I can peel it off the magnetic backing. And with that, my home office is complete. I am so happy with how came together and how I was able to use most of what I already had or how I was able to find cubes and buy nothing for free and saving them from the trash. I already feel more motivated and having the space that I can come in the house to work and that physical separation was exactly what I needed. I hope you enjoyed this mini office tour. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already or check out my other platforms on TikTok, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. See you next time.